So if you've been boating for any amount of time, especially up here in the Pacific Northwest, there's a ton of marinas that have really outdated power systems or their power pedestals, mostly 30 amp single phase, 120 volt, uh, 30 amp breaker. It's not a lot, but that's all they have. And most of the breakers are weak. So what I mean by weak, they trip a lot. So you don't get a full 30 amp out of them. You get something closer like 15, maybe 20 amps if you're lucky. And then they trip. Victron has come out with this power sharing technology. It's in all their inverters and the Multi Plus as well as the Quattros and it solves the problem. No more tripped breakers. Hold on, I'll tell you all about it. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. All right, so thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe if this is all valuable for you. So I'm gonna start real quick with uh, some interfaces that the, the Victron system has. So this is just a visual representation of here's our shore power, here's our batteries, and here's our solar. Um, and then these are our AC loads over here that are being consumed by the boat. It's pretty straightforward, easy to wrap your brain around. Um, and then this over here, I'm just showing what our current battery bank state of charge is. It's at 89%, and it's drawn a little over two amps. It's not that much. Everything looks pretty happy here. So Carlin just turned on the air conditioning. So wait to see what, what's gonna happen here. It maxes out the shore power. But again, we're controlling how much amperage we're drawing from the shore power so that it never spikes and trips a breaker. But check it out over here. Here's our AC load. Now you'll notice it's about 800 watts higher than what we're pulling off the shore power. So where the heck is that coming from? Well, it's coming off of our battery bank and off our solar. So you'll notice right here in the center, it says assisting. And this is that feature in the Victron Quattro and Multi Plus which basically starts pulling power from your battery bank when your loads exceed what the dock can give you from shore power. Is that cool or what? Now, a person that looks at things through a critical set of eyes would go, well, cool. You know, you're assisting with your batteries and when that load goes down, what happens to your batteries? Well, let's go turn off the air conditioning here which actually feels really nice. All right, now that we have that turned off, so you noticed shore power is now sitting down at 1,000 watts. You notice our AC loads are sitting at 850. Where's the extra wattage going? The extra wattage is going from our inverter charger over to our battery bank. So right now, our batteries are just recharging themselves. And that's what happens. That's the ebb and flow of power assist. It's able to pull off the batteries when the loads are too high for your shore power. And then once the loads diminish, it just goes through and starts charging up your bank again so that it can just keep doing that ebb and flow. You never have to worry about managing your loads or any fussy stuff like that. Now, to set this up, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, we can go in, let me show you this user interface. I'm gonna flip over here. So in this screen, you'll notice right at the bottom here, it says current limit, and you can adjust the current limit up and down. Now I said 20 amps, right? And you'll notice it says 10.5 on here. Well, that's because we run our boat in split phase. I'm not gonna get into all that gobbledygook, but just trust me, um, we've just converted our 120 volt out there on the dock to 240 volt, and it halves our amperage. We do that because that's what this system demands. It's not a topic right now. We'll go deeper into that in another one of our videos, why we do that and why it's better for what we do. But the cool part is you can just adjust right here in the user interface how much power you're gonna draw from the dock. So you never have to worry about flipping a breaker again. That's pretty sweet. Now, what do you have to do to be able to get this kind of a system? Well, you do need to put in an inverter that is either the Multi Plus or the Quattro from Victron, but if you're thinking about buying an inverter, 
this alone is worth it. I wouldn't even look at another brand because they just don't offer this kind of great uh, technology and features in their systems. We'll come back, we'll talk more about some of the other cool things that Victron offers in their Quattro setup and their Multi Plus, uh, but this alone, totally worth it. Now I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions. How the heck do you get all this information? Well, let me show you. Uh, I mean, obviously, not only do we have everything that we talked about, we even have things like our tank levels uh, that we can see on this user interface. Um, on top of that, we can see this great dashboard that's online as well that shows you all your power utilization. It shows you how much solar has been used. Uh, it shows you what the level of the batteries are. It's just a wealth of information. It's outstanding. And this all, this all comes for free, so to speak, from Victron when you integrate a Servo GX with your inverter system and or your solar system or, or, or both of those. So come on, let's take a look. I'll show you where that is. So here is that Touch 50 uh, that I was talking about. This is a hardware integrated piece uh, that we have. Uh, this is nothing more than just a, a nice touch screen that has an HDMI connection, but it's nice to have it on your your electrical panel so you can always see that. You don't have to worry about uh, a Wi-Fi connection or uh, anything like that. Um, you'll see that we're going through and it's doing assisting again. So basically it just shows all the information that we had showed you on the iPad. But back here is where we have this Serbo GX. Uh, and this is kind of, I'm gonna call it not so much the brains uh, because the inverter has a lot of the brains as far as like the power assist goes. But as far as communicating all of the information about solar, uh, being able to not only it has Wi-Fi in it as well as Bluetooth so that it can connect to that iPad that you saw. Uh, but you'll notice there's also a hotspot that we have here and it's hardwired. I would not recommend ever trying to connect it via Wi-Fi between the two. You can, but it drops out a lot and it's just a big pain in the ass. But between these two things uh, being coupled and all the connections that we have here to all the components that are part of the, the Victron system that, that, we, that we have, uh, that's how all that information is able to get transmitted to that iPad. The only exception is uh, the tank monitors. Those are on our NEMA uh, 2000 network and this is integrated in with that network on our boat with all the other electronics so it can communicate back and forth but this box here also has resistive uh, inputs for tank monitoring as well so if you wanted to do that you could this is probably the biggest bang for the buck of any piece of equipment that we have on the boat. It's just over $300 and it's remarkable what it does. Uh, it has obviously Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for local connections like we were showing you with the iPad, but it also has with uh, a hotspot, uh, it has a internet connection. So anywhere in the world, you can be able to see the status of the electrical system and anything else that's connected through it like the tanks, uh, it's pretty slick. I'm really impressed and I've had it on the boat for, gosh what, over a year. Uh, it's been outstanding. We'll do a bit more of a deep dive later in another video, but we didn't want to leave everybody hanging as to how do you get all that great information? Where does that come from? That's kind of the brains behind it. And look it, you can put a picture on here. That's us. Yeah. That's our boat. I'll put a link below in the description that shows you how you can do that because if you already have a Quattro or a, a Multi Plus and you've installed a Servo with a, a touch screen on it, this is an easy update. You can personalize it, name your boat. Have a great week. to use your power your batteries even when you're at the dock Wanna make some more squeaky noises Are we done
something happening?